You're wearing the colors of Nano Leaf. What is Nano Leaf for people out there who have absolutely no idea what this thing is, other than it kind of looks like a light bulb, but is so much more? So, this is the Nano Leaf light bulb. Um, you know, I, I'd like to think that we're not just a lighting company, we're really uh, a green technology company. We're focused on building product innovations that are, are going to be a, a lasting impact on the planet. Right, so the first product to come out of the woodworks is the Nano Leaf light bulb. It's currently the world's most energy efficient light bulb. And we launched it on Kickstarter about a year ago. And since then, you know, we've had an amazing reception from the public. When you say Kickstarter, this is really crowd crowd sourced right. funding, right. essentially. Right. And you thought that you would only get, what, a couple of thousand dollars? We were aiming for 20,000 and uh, we, we went way beyond that, uh, that goal. You raised a quarter of a million dollars. You also raised it the attention of Li Ka Xing. Um, apparently, the story is, is fascinating here. Christian, tell us how you got onto his radar. Well, that's a good question. Well, um, we have to give a, a lot of thanks to the Consul General of Canada, uh, Mr. Ian Perchett, and also uh, th we met them through the University of Toronto, uh, the president, which is uh, Mayor Gertler. So they actually introduced us uh, to uh, this investment group, Horizons Ventures. And, uh, you know, I think what caught his eye was the distinctive look of our light bulb. And when they found out, actually, that it is the world's most efficient light bulb, and also the other technologies we were going to bring to the table, uh, I, I think they were convinced. Well, let's take a look at exactly what this light bulb is. You've got uh, 30,000 hours of light for the one light bulb. It costs, uh, this is the average cost of electricity in China. Now, incandescent bulbs, we figured out it costs $515 uh, to basically light up an incandescent bulb. For the CFL bulbs, it would cost $134. But the nano leaf bulb, cost $61. The savings is incredible. And if you take a shot of just what the difference between the CFL is and the nano leaf bulb right over there, you can see that it is brighter. It's about, what would you say, Tom, about 100 watts? Uh, our middle level bulb is equal to a 100 watt incandescent light bulb, but it uses only 12 watts of electricity. So it's 100 watts of light with the equivalent of using only 12 watts of energy. And what does this mean for China's future as it tries to clear its skies of pollution, as it tries to conserve energy costs? This is an extraordinary part of China's future. Definitely. We, we want to hit the mass of China. I mean, this is a population of 1.3 billion people, right? And um, actually, China is a large producer of carbon emissions, but it recently has taken a large initiative to try to reduce this. I mean, in October of this year, they will be banning the normal incandescent light bulb. So we want the average home user to switch to more efficient energy lighting. Now, let's, take, uh, let's say your average consumer. Uh, they spend probably 10% of their electricity costs in lighting. Now, if we're going to cut that down for 9%, you can think of this mass impact it will have in China. I mean, it, it is huge. It is huge. It's huge. And Tom, this, you, were the, you were the bright spot behind this bright idea. Tell me a little bit about, and tell us really a little bit about how you've reconfigured and reimagined the traditional light bulb. Well, uh, we basically, we optimized the light bulb. Uh, we looked at other light bulbs and we saw that you know there's many ways that they can be improved so uh, right down to the <clears throat> to the LED itself there's a silver reflective coating inside that helps to reflect more of the light outwards we've found the best chip available the best phosphors which is the yellow material that emits the white light <clears throat> we custom designed the power supply in this bulb it's 95 percent energy efficient which is probably about 15 percent more efficient than other power supplies in other bulbs and also just the way the LEDs are configured on the outside of right. this bulb we don't need any diffuser cap which you know blocks some of the light so overall with each optimization which, which adds a little bit to the gain, we have something that's almost twice as energy efficient. And w here's what's cool about it. It's the, the separate light source that actually emits out, mm -hmm. as you say, instead of having a one single light source, and then the bulb then diffuses that light. This is a very uh, conservative use of energy 
right here. Why are you guys here in Hong Kong? I mean, innovation is what every country, including uh, the city state of Hong Kong, looking to drive its economic future. So why here? So I think Hong Kong is a great uh, economical hub for, for international business. Um, you know, it's got great access to all the financial resources. It's very close proximity to, to China. Um, we actually do most of our manufacturing in China, and, and as most people know, it's got an amazing supply chain. All of our suppliers are about within like one hour's drive just from our, our office, and it's, uh, it's really convenient. If you try and do that in any other country, it's going to take forever just to get all the different components and have them sourced and brought to a central kind of assembly plant. And on top of that, there's, uh, you know, there's, there's the cost of labor, which is, is lower. But I think the key aspect is really the technology as well. I think a lot of people think China products might not be high quality, but in reality, I think they're at the cutting edge of LED technology. Well, tell me why Li Kaixing was so interested in you guys. What, what does he see about your future that excites his I investment? I think when he, when he initially saw it, I think it was the look of the bulb. Um, but then when he learned about the, the energy efficiency aspect of it, he saw the potential that it would have for, to, to really make an impact on the world. And uh, you know, I, I, I think when he, he sees us, he sees us as young entrepreneurs, and he really wants to help kind of the next generation achieve their goals. Right? And for us, we're, we're really lucky to, to have him you know, uh, be in this position uh, where he actually wants to invest in us because it will help us reach our goals of creating products that are, are good for the planet that could have an impact. The impact on uh, China's pollution is very huge. We've got coal as one of the dirtiest uh, energy providers of, uh, of, of electricity for that nation. What do you think it means when you can light up China using a tenth of the electricity that it would cost in a traditional light bulb? Not, well, not only in the terms of energy savings, we actually want to be innovative in how we make the product. Mm. So this is very important for us. If you look at this light bulb, this current model, we have removed this heat sink, this aluminum heat sink. Aluminum is quite, uh, you know, uh, uh, difficult and, and takes a lot of energy to heat up. So we want to take away that carbon footprint. So these are one of the things we want to do as a team in Nanoleaf to try to uh, uh, remove pollution during the yeah. production phase. This is called clean production. All right, so what's next for you guys? We, we have some pretty exciting plans for this year. We have some new products that we want to release. Uh, we kind of want to keep it a surprise, but uh, hopefully around the middle of this year we'll have some exciting new products. Um, we have a, a pretty aggressive plan to ramp up a team of, of, of R&D people, mainly to help out Tom, and uh, it's going to be a really exciting year for us. What's the ultimate goal? You're thinking of uh, potentially reaching a phase where you could be the next GE of the future and go public? I, I think for us, really, it, if we can make a, a dent in the global carbon footprint, I, I think that's a big win for us.